Namaste. Namaste. My name is Uma Dinsmore Tuli. This is the River Pera. I'm in Portugal up in the mountains in a healing retreat where I've just finished uh, running a total yoga nidra teacher training course. And I just was so inspired by the beautiful creative offerings of all 24 people on that course that I felt like I wanted to uh, really honor and, uh, and voice from my experience and observation how I see this river of yoga nidra um, growing and evolving. So in this course, and this isn't the only one, you know, there are many people running yoga nidra teacher training courses all over the world. The more there are, the better it is. The more yoga nidra in the world, the better it is. And I really wanted to celebrate what I saw from a very European perspective. So um, in this course, what we saw was not simply learning a particular form of yoga nidra. So you can be given a script. Um, if you read that script out, your energy will mostly be in the script and not with the people who are receiving it. So I encourage people not to use the script, to actually connect with the people they're sharing the nidra with. In this course, we tend not to give people, we don't give a set script. What we do is we practice the basic components of yoga nidra so that in fact people are able to welcome what I describe as the active ingredient of yoga nidra. So the active ingredient of Yoga Nidra is Yoga Nidra Shakti. Nidra Shakti is the power of rest or the power of sleep. And that form is, is that are, those forms that are created hold that Nidra Shakti. They hold her and they allow her to work in different ways. People get familiar with different forms. But in this course, what I saw in so many different languages, so we experienced Nidras in Norwegian, Oh no, not all Norwegian. We had experiences of um, Nidra in Swedish and Danish in three different languages from a beautiful Swiss um, resident who came and delivered her Nidra in German, English and French. And beyond all of these Nidras and Portuguese Nidras and language Nidras that included Italian and English, all of this creative linguistic um, fluidity was very impressive, but what was even more impressive than that was the way in which when you meet the active ingredient of Yoga Nidra, like you really connect with the power of rest through your own practice and through being empowered to see how that rest, that power can be welcomed when you share practices of Yoga Nidra. When the active ingredient is like really present for you, then the creative flow of what comes is beautiful, powerful, authentic, and really effective. It means that each time a nidra is delivered, it is something unique and special for those people in that place at that time. So we were here in this place at this time, and each person on that group who shared their nidra was able to really connect with the present moment and to help everybody be fully present in that. So this is another way of sharing yoga nidra. There are many schools that have created very particular forms and those are good. They create a structure and a technique for dealing with it. It makes people feel safe and secure and confident. But there's another kind of confidence and there's another kind of safety and there's another kind of transmission of this sort of beautiful practice and that is to be fully welcoming for the active ingredient of the practice, the nidra shakti, to be alive in you. And, and, and that's what I saw happening and it was like a great river creative flow, carrying everybody with safety and security, so you don't need to be frightened that if you don't read it out of the book or do what the Swami said, that you're going to somehow get it wrong. Actually, if you're fully respectfully in service to the active ingredient of your Nidra, it's like catching the light in your hands, and you know what you're doing, like you know the, the basic structures and tools to work with, then this creative flow is something very real every single person on that course and every single person that I see fully empowered in this way is able to be absolutely present, no script needed, and delivering from their hearts in this great river of Nidra Shakti that we really need and as this river nourishes the land through which it flows, so does the Yoga Nidra nourish the people giving it and the people receiving it. So like a big celebration and um, an invitation for those of you sharing Yoga Nidra to, to feel into what exactly is working. Does it depend on the form? Does it depend on the method? 
I'd say if you really feel into what's happening, it doesn't depend on either of those things. She is a Shakti, she is a power, this Nidra Shakti, this power of rest. And she will really be present when we honor what it is that she's doing and create the right conditions, safe conditions. If you feel safe and secure, they can let go and relax and be fully present to the Nidra Shakti. So I'm encouraging you to uh, <laughs> put down your scripts. <laughs> Because that creative flow is actually moving really powerfully when you're fully present to the people that you're sharing it with. So, Jai Nidra Shakti Ma, all power to the great uh, energy of rest that can nourish us all. And Yoga Nidra is it, and the time is.